President Trump is joining some of the most incredible people in history being arrested today. Um, Nelson Mandela was arrested, served time in prison. Jesus, Jesus was arrested and murdered by uh, the Roman government. There have been many people throughout history that have been arrested and persecuted by radical, corrupt governments. And it's beginning today in New York City. Um, and I just can't believe it's happening, but I'll always support him. He's done nothing wrong. If you can't beat him, you persecute him or you prosecute him. We can't let this happen in America. Thank you very much. We live in a nation of potential collaborators. And if we don't reduce the price of standing up, if we don't make it less costly and encourage more people to stand, that is what lies ahead for all of us. When they come and say, who were the ones who voted for Trump? Who were the ones with Trump signs in their front right. porch? Who were the proud boys? Who were the oath keepers? When they come to uh, who wouldn't comply? Who, who were didn't the journalists? wear a mask? Who are the journalists? Who didn't get a vaccine? Hmm. When they come for us, our neighbors will be raising their hands to lead the, you know, lead the killing squads to our doors. I don't even know where to begin with this interview because it's short and it may seem like it's not that serious. But the language in here, this idea that everybody's the enemy that don't see the world or politics like you. Listen to the language that she's evoking. Potential collaborators is language to say that someone is an, an enemy of the state. Someone is providing information to another nation state. Someone is acting against the interests of the United States of America. That is the language we're using against our political opponents, people who have different policy ideas, allegedly, than us. They're not after me. They're after you. I'm just in the way. That's right. Because what would they throw you in jail for? If I, if, because maybe I'm talking against them. Maybe that's all they need. But did, have you ever hoarded classified documents in a bathroom at your golf club? Well, no, but then again, I've never been president either, and I've never had any uh, exoneration from whatever the document rule. Well, why would they come after you? Well, because they're coming after and everybody in this country. This is only safe and comfortable for Republicans and people who believe what Trump believes and see the world in the manner that he does, end all be all, is because they, they themselves are the ones that are acting against the Constitution. It is them that supports a man who wanted to suspend the Constitution. It is them who didn't want to peacefully hand over the nation. And what they're doing in this video is projecting to the next level. She's asking, she's using language, evoking language from someone asking and begging his neighbors to protect people, mainly Jewish people people during the Holocaust, the language of who, who were the ones, who were the ones, who was the one, who were the journalists, who stood up for the journalists, who stood up the old people, who were the old peoples, saying that people are coming, coming for people because they voted for Trump. When in actuality, we don't see the government attacking or going after anybody because they voted for Trump. Actually, more than 70 million people in this country voted for Trump, but they didn't go to the United States Capitol and go after them. So when she posed the question, who are the Proud Boys, I'll gladly tell her the Proud Boys is a chauvinist organization who based itself, its principle, its founding principle on misogyny and white nationalism. That is the Proud Boys. And should I also add, I definitely should add the fact that the Proud Boys also attacked, helped organize the attack on our capital on January 6th. She asked, who are the Oath Keepers? The Oath Keepers is an anti-government militia, one of the largest in the country, more than a couple thousand, few thousand members that are recruiting daily from our military and our police, trying to get them to stand up with something and fight against something that doesn't and exist, saying that the United States is trying to take their rights and confiscate all their guns and join some united new world order. Oh, by the way, did I mention the Oath Keepers also were a part of the planners for the January the 6th attack, which is why the leaders of both of these organizations have received the longest sentences out of anybody from the January 6th attack. Playing and saying that Democrats and people on the other side of the aisle, because we didn't vote for Trump or don't vote for Republicans, are the enemy is a horrible way to look at our democracy. There are plenty of people who are Republicans that are not my enemy, but those who stand to try and dismantle all of the
the systems in this country so that Donald Trump can get back in office to an election he didn't win are the enemies. Not just of me, but for everybody that believes in this experiment called the United States of America. We shouldn't play games when people are using language to encourage people to act violently towards other Americans. This is exactly what was happening in this video. This is exactly what happens when Trump opened his mouth. It is exactly what happened on January 6th, and it is exactly what will continue to happen as long as we act as if this is normal and no Republicans pray adults on their party and also stand up to this MAGA, MAGA rebellion, or in this case, movement that has taken over their party. Sad to say, we have two parties in this country, two national parties, and this one is off the rails. I'm Wendell Robinson. Have a great day, but not before you think about it.